fix some drips on the tub and shower around here and uh, get some remodeling done and tile and they grout it around all the stems so we're having to chip those out to make our repair. to the washer. Pieces of old washer out. Good. Let's go ahead and get them all out. Yeah. Well, you don't have to know anything about plumbing to know that you shouldn't just cement over stuff.
screwdriver. <laughs> <coughs> Not in very tight other than that ground. Yeah, well they just seal up against this little plastic washers. Yeah, but some of these. Yeah, some of them are I just don't have that boss off. That washer doesn't look too terrible. Yeah, they're using shower ones usually aren't too bad. Mostly the hot side can always get some stuff. Spin it by hand to get it started. Well, try. I don't know. I'd have to chip in time. Well, well, hang on. Let me make sure I got everything out of here. Yeah, let's break all that debris. all that sheetrock behind it. Yeah. I think it's loose in the wall too, isn't it? Pull back and forth on that tub spot. It doesn't, the screws are less than the screws. Threads, I mean. Okay, there's that. Now, I haven't tightened that packing nut up yet on that. tight because I mean even with it almost as tight as I could get it the handle still spun real easy. Yeah you stick that on any kind of gauge. Yeah 
That's good. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't believe I got all three of those on the first try. Yeah, that worked out nice. Yeah. <laughs> Burgers in it. to replace that spout. I've got some new spouts. stems and trim on a price fister three-handle valve faucet. We'll go turn the water back on. <laughs> 